So to get started, let's make sure that we're all on the same page when I'm talking about OEE. So OEE is overall equipment effectiveness, the industry standard KPI for performance monitoring. For a couple of uh, reasons, I'm, I'm sure you'll grasp pretty quickly, right? One, very easy to understand. It is a score, a single score of your asset or line utilization broken up into three components with some extra stuff on top of that. And I'm going to go into some examples of how that works in just a little bit. It's readily measurable. So a lot of the systems that you're going to have in place are probably already tracking the data that we need to, to do an OEE calculation, or it's probably a pretty easy lift to, to get them upgraded and get that information flowing. So good to know that it is within reach of a lot of manufacturers. It's also immediately useful, but then extendable. So, so just core vanilla OEE and downtime measuring is usually gonna give you a lot of immediate value. And then if you do want to expand that to connect more to your ERP data, or maybe add track and trace functionality or something like that, it's giving you a lot of that core functionality that's gonna let you expand that MES over time and continue to, to drive your operations and get smarter. So I promised we would get a little further into the calculation of OEE that ex, uh, itself. So this is the, the graph I like to kind of use to, to illustrate some of this. Imagine the, the total amount of time that we could be running a particular production asset or a line, right? So of all time, you might not be running it or planning to run it for the full amount of time, right? Maybe there's a, a holiday or an intentional break shift or something like that. So of all time, you have a certain amount that is your planned production time. OEE breaks down the rest of that. Of your planned production time, how efficient was I? So if there's time that I was planning on running, but I didn't run, that is a availability loss, right? So an unplanned downtime or say there was a staffing shortage or something like that. Of the time that we were able to run, if I wasn't running maybe at the full capacity or speed that my line could be running, that's gonna be a performance loss, right? Or a throughput issue. And then finally, if we are running, if we are making parts regardless of the speed, but those parts aren't usable, they're failing quality checks and we can't sell them, that's going to be a quality loss. And by the time we've added up those three losses, essentially we have gotten to the overall utilization of that line or it's OEE. To put this with some, some more concrete numbers behind it, uh, let's say that you were going to run a, a thousand units and you're not going to do a schedule loss. You're going to run for a full eight hour shift, but then you have a, a downtime for two hours, right? So now you're only available 75% of the time that you thought you were going to. And realistically, you're only going to make 750 units of that order. Now, if you're also on average, only running at two thirds of your top speed during that time that you're during the six hours you're running, now we're only running at 66% performance and we're down to about 500 units. Now on top of that, if of those 500 units, only 80% are passing quality, we've lost another 20% off of our total production time and we're down to 400 units. So what you really see here is how smaller dings across these individual elements, availability at 75%, performance at 66, quality at 80, how that can really add up. And at the end of the day, we're only making 40% of what we set out to, to make during that shift. So understanding kind of those losses and kind of where they're coming in and where you focus your attention is all what OEE is about. So that's the basics of OEE. If I wanna to start to add this into Ignition, um, that is where Cepasoft and Cepasoft's modules start to come in. Um, I bring up this graph here of the Ignition software stack People have probably seen a simplified or this version of it, but what I really want to focus on here is these partner modules, right? So, of course, we have Cirrus Link. Uh, let's start over here, actually. We have inductive automation, these modules that I know everyone knows and loves. That's probably why you're on the call today. We also have Cirrus Link, which is some of these connectivity modules. But really here, we're focused on Cepasoft and these MES modules. You see the OEE one we're talking about today right here, track and trace, batch procedure, even some connectivity modules here for MES functions like connecting up to your ERP systems via web services or the business connector, right? So these are kind of one of the, the lesser known gems of Ignition, right? You get so much value kind of out of the main platform itself. There are this, there's this modular approach that so you're taking the elements that you need, but these third party modules, these strategic partner modules are also really important to be able to expand the capabilities of the overall system. 
how do you get to it? If you're on Ignition's pricing page and kind of just in that checkout counter, there is a strategic module section there. So you're going to see sections like this around if you want OEE downtime, batch procedure, track and trace modules. So if you're looking at where to find these, you can find them directly on Ignition's website. Of course, you can also go to, to Cephasoft's website and get a lot more information from them. Or you can always give us or whoever your uh, local integrator is a call, and we're, we're happy to walk you through it as well. So what do you get for that uh, Cephasoft OEE module? So it's gonna give you some, some data structures, there's some scripts and databases in there to kind of help take the tag data that you're getting from your automation systems and put it in to that OEE perspective. And it gives you a bunch of modules and kind of components like you see on the screen right now uh, to help build some of those dashboards. So what Grantech has done, is that we've taken those components that you're getting from the, the Cephasoft system, and we've added our own flavor to it. We've kind of arranged some things. We've pre-configured a lot of this to give you even more OEE value right out of the box of this accelerator and get people started. 